What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always and welcome to another <laughs> <coughs> Another session with AIDS main man I, I got this cold like 17 days ago and I still have fucking mucus in my throat Can someone call a doctor please? And preferably not a doctor that wears the armor, armor king does, that would scare me a little bit It's just so badass But I'm here with the beast of darkness Armor King and uh, one of my favorite characters such a badass you take one quick look at King and you're like mm, And then you look at Armor King and it's two thumbs up instead when can I play him and uh, We've got some buffs in season 3 Nothing earth-shattering there, there are some pretty nice quality buffs, but it's nothing but that's gonna patch Armor King's big weaknesses like for example keeping up momentum on the opponent with strong frames, you know, uh, on the hit, you know, like um, lows or mids, you know, or quick mids that are good on block, you know, um, it's complicated playing Armor King, and it's still going to be complicated, and, eh, well, we have some buffs, it's nothing that's gonna, you know, skyrocket him on the tier list or anything like that, he remains, in my opinion, mostly the same, although the CD1 here is quite something. Uh, so yes, let's go over it. I'm gonna start with I, with what I feel is the major stuff, and then I'm gonna go, go point for point here on the patch notes. But we're gonna start off with the CD1, which is uh, one of his key moves. It's a high, but it's very fast, got enormous range, and on block it is plus six with huge knockback. So that's pretty much his electric. You know, boom, boom. You'd think it's his dark upper, but that's more of a wind god fist. Minus 10 on block, no pushback. So, what has happened to the CD1? I realized already before the release of Season 3, as soon as I read the patch notes and saw that CD1 recovers one frame faster, I was like, that means it's a launcher now. Um, oh, yes. So, this only works from range 1 and beyond. Like range 0, if it, hits, it's, if it hits as early as possible in its active animation, you can't bounce. So that's where you do either stomps or you, or you can go for a ground throw. <laughs> Close line from hell. But any other range, you should be able to bound them for uh, bound 3 plus 4 1. Sidestep left, Shining Wizard, a little bit technical to do, but uh, works fine if you practice it for a bit. Or if there's a wall nearby, maybe you'll do something like that, whatever, this, this is a huge deal. So as it doesn't work in this range, this is mostly going to be when you use this move as a whiff punish, which is, it's great. Stay away, opponent whiffs, super fast, super long range, kaboom. And now, oh, looks like I get a combo, <laughs> but I drop. <laughs> YouTube curse. So, that is great. Then we have his 10 frame punish, 2-1, which was already good. He got the same change King got. It goes from plus 5 on hit to plus 7. So basically, anything you want to do, you can pretty much do, you know, after this has connected. So that's really nice. And then it's down 3, which in my opinion was already his best low, uh, due to plus 1 on hit, you know, uninterruptible giant swing on hit. This now, on counter hit, has a pretty nice stun. The opponent gets a massive hemorrhage in his uh, foot there. Left foot. And you're plus 9. 9. So that's as big of an advantage as you can have without getting a free hit. You know, if it was plus 10, we would get 1, 2. Or, or yeah, well, of course, 2, 1. Uh, so at plus 9 there, yeah, the sky's the limit. Whatever you want to mix up there, go for bro. Age! Fully guaranteed. <laughs> Probably not. But, uh, but so, so that's really nice. And then I like that his mid homing move, you know, you have 4 for 3 The nice homing move. 
Uh, wow, you're supposed to do this after. Thank you. Uh, down for 1 plus 2 is his awesome long range knockdown mid homing move. Really nice. It used to be kind of sluggish at 25 frames. They made it 2 frames faster, so now it's 23. Eesh! You can really see the, the new speed of it. Quality buff. And then we have a new low in uh, Stance of Darkness too. Eesh! Pretty nice, pretty chunky there. You see it sparks, 20 damage. It's got some crushing as you can see. And look at that range. Armor King has long arms, man. And a long schlong. That was funny. Uh, and on counter hit, it gives a nice knockdown, so you get a guaranteed ground throw attempt. Or you can go for, for example, a uh, forward four into whatever, or you can do the stomps. Eesh, eesh. Uh, so it's, uh, it's pretty nice. It is minus 14 though. Uh, that's from me checking the frame data. Um, yeah, <laughs> it is minus 14, so it's not launch punishable. That's nice. Um, and on hit, the frame advantage, advantage is so good that a hop kick is uninterruptible. Okay. It's nice. Pretty nice. And so, those were the best things, in my opinion. Uh, but now I'm just gonna go through all of the changes. I'm gonna follow the patch notes. Uh, Ford Free 4. This two hit string here got a. It's not a natural, but it's, both hits are safe. So it's really nice. You can mix this up 4 3, 4 3, 4 3 4. There's really no risk in doing it. Unless you're facing these, you know, and he parries you for 1 million damage. Uh, but I've always liked this string. Uh, they reduce the damage by 1, but they also add it so that the last hit there, should you want to do it, you can actually cancel it now by holding back into the spin of darkness. Eh, a gimmick, but it eh, could be nice. And the same change has uh, been done on his... Um, his CD3 unblockable got the same change. Hold back. Ca the dark Cossack of darkness. So this is his new wave dash, basically. That's cool. You know, I can definitely see some use for this on the wall, <laughs> but <coughs> yeah, <coughs> mostly a gimmick. Who knows? <coughs> <coughs> like, seriously. Uh, and then we have down two for free. <coughs> YouTube curse. Nothing drastic has happened, but if they are grounded, like so... What? Oh, wait. My bad. No, no. Okay, if they're grounded, the 4 will flip them. And the 3 hits them. Eesh! 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 Doesn't that look so sick? <clears throat> Honestly, if that was guaranteed, oh, would make make my day. Unfortunately, it is not. If I put on tech roll, last hit there is tech rollable, and that broke my heart. I, I I really hoped it was guaranteed, but unfortunately not. But so that's a change. And then we have down back to free uh, has been changed on hit gives this knockdown like uh, Kazuya's forward free on counter hit and just like Kazuya's forward free on counter hit nothing is guaranteed there they can block so, uh, you get decent decent advantage though um it's also been changed on block uh, it used to be minus 16 and a lot of pushback it now has less pushback and is minus 13 so mm. Uh, definitely a change uh, for the worse, I would say. Uh, and then 
his uh, up for three is now a counter hit launcher, just like Marduk's up for three. And so that's normal hit, advantage, and counter hit. Yay. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's nice. I mean, it's a uh, low crushing, pre reasonably fast, long range mid. Uh, but still, like nothing. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it, that just summarizes Armor King here. In that he just keeps his old weaknesses, which is good. We don't want him to lose his identity. You know, you don't want to give Kazi up 13 frame mid. You know, that's super good. Uh, so yeah, uh, some quality buffs. He's still going to be amazingly fun to play, but he's not going to be like, you know, um, terribly changed, you know, or uh, not everyone's gonna, everyone's not suddenly gonna be become an Armor King main, but character enthusiast players like JDCR who play Heihachi and Armor King pretty much either way, you know, they, they have some more tools to work with. But of course, JDCR can today play Dragonov, who's a complete monster in Season 3, and a character that was already, I would say, quite better than mine. But, you know, it's down to the player and how they use the character. So, that is Armor King in Season 3. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a lovely day. Take care.